all right guys so i haven't posted in a long time but let's just get straight into this video you clicked on this video because you want to open multi roblox i know you've guys seen these videos on the process explorer but this actually bugs your roblox makes you invisible makes a lot of animations not work but in this video i'm going to be showing you my method on how to multi roblox this method is really underground but i'll show you guys what i do now this is just a showcase to show you guys what this does as you guys can see remote desktop connection you want to actually open this up before the roblox and then i have another one so i would change this to 03 put this to grind 2. now it does look a little bit complicated but i promise you guys it's worth it you don't have to have this much robloxes i just uh prefer more accounts i've farmed these accounts to almost max level so i can farm true demon ball but yeah as you guys can see, just wait uh, at the start when you load up the Roblox, it's going to be a bit laggy. As you guys can see here, load it up, load it up. But yeah, let me get straight into this video and show you guys how to do this, okay? Alright, so first, what you want to do is you want to click on the first link in the description. I'm going to go ahead and post this here. Um, and then you want to download the RDP Wrap Zip, okay? So I click on it rdp wrap zip you want to go to your download files you want to go ahead and right click that and extract all okay and then extract you need to do the step by the way it's very important now that you have that step done you just want to go ahead and click install.bat right here i've already installed it so i don't need to right so once you clicked install all right then you want to go to the second link in the description right here you see this entire script this you're gonna need this you want to right click click save as and then right here this is very important you want to click all files delete this dot ini everything and just type dot ini i don't know why you need to do this but you need to do it so it doesn't matter uh mm -hmm. click save already exists but i'll redo the process to show you guys all right so the next step you want to do is you want to open up uh, this PC in the file explorer right and then you want to click local disk okay click on program files and scroll down all the way until you see RDP wrapper if this is not popping up for you it's because you did not click install okay so you do need to click install you want to open this up right and once you have this up you want to actually cl right click your file explorer and open up another one right here and you want to go to your downloads right here okay and then you want to control copy do not drag it into here because it will say um you don't have permission okay so what you want to do is right click copy and then right click paste and then replace the file in uh in this destination just like that continue do all that okay and now the second step is done all right so the third step you want to do is open the third link in the description okay uh, this is taking pretty long, but it's I promise you guys it's worth it. Okay, so you want to click on this uh, If you have an MSI you want to download this one But if you just have a regular Windows 10 Windows 11 you want to open this uh, remote desktop plus 7.0.1 uh, Right here and it'll download it for you. Okay, I already have it downloaded You want to go ahead and download that once you have it downloaded you want to hop on to the next step You want to open up your settings. Okay, and you want to go to accounts scroll down all to other users okay uh you can just type other users and open that up uh but you know you want to go to other users right here you see i have my accounts right here uh what you want to do here is click add account you don't need an email for this you want to say i don't have this person sign in information add a user without a microsoft account okay that's what you need to do and then you just want to you know type uh macro or whatever you want to type uh make sure you remember this uh or just you could go back to it but make sure you remember the password you put in this case i'm just gonna put macro one two three okay as you guys can see macro one two three okay just like that and you got to do these security questions uh let me go ahead and do these as you guys can see you can fill it with whatever you want but uh in this case i'm just gonna put macro um and then you want to click next and now you have it here and you actually got to go uh, ahead and click on it. You want to click change account type standard user to administrator. This is an important step. It will not work if you do not do the step. Okay, so make sure you do it. Uh, administrator, click OK. Now it's on an 
administrator i'm gonna go ahead and remove this because i already have this but uh, for the in this case uh for this video i'm gonna go ahead and keep it so i can show you guys now for the fifth and almost on to the final step you want to go ahead in here and you want to type services and go ahead and open up services okay and you want to actually scroll down until you see remote desktop services as you guys can see right here remote desktop services not remote desktop uh, services user mode just remote desktop services you want to go ahead and click restart the service and then yeah that's all you got to do restart the service make sure you do that and now on to the final step you want to go ahead and open up your rdp.exe that we downloaded earlier from this link right here and you want to go ahead and open up that uh and then this is like the kind of confusing part uh, so if you want to open up multiple rdps it's gonna put you want to put on computers 127.0.0.2 right that's for the so it goes up by one every uh connection so your first connection is one point so what we're on right now is 127.002 i mean 001 but if you want to open up another one it's 002 right and that's just what we're going to do for the first one most of you guys are just going to run one so we're going to go ahead and click manage profiles after this and you want to click add and then you want to just put this as macro and then username put the username for the other users that you put that we just made macro and then type the password which is macro one two three macro wait macro oh my god macro one two three and then just click ok and as you guys can see right here uh the macro the account we just made is you can go ahead and open it but you have to do one final step as you guys can see here the rdp wrap file that we downloaded you want to go ahead and open this up you want to go ahead and open this up and you want to click rdpconf.exe okay to check that everything is working it would say installed running listening and fully supported everything should be green um if it says green if it shows green green and then green here but red here you just have to restart your computer and it should work so yeah once you have everything set up since my macro is the uh my third other account i would put 127004 and it just keeps increasing per account and then i'd click here click on the macro if you guys do your first account make sure you put 002 like this and then yeah show you guys click fit screen i like fit screen uh, it's pretty good and then connect and it's just like that it opens it up you gotta have to download the stuff on the other computer as you guys can see here do all this extra stuff and then yep right here look now you just want to download roblox onto this and then you can multi roblox all right and that's it for the video okay i've shown you guys the way i like to multi roblox this process explorer way which is the new way that everybody does it's very popular but it also bugs your game out a lot and it doesn't let you leave and rejoin that's why i personally like the rdp way better but yeah if this helped you out you know leave a like subscribe and all that uh thank you guys for watching have a good one